Hello everybody and welcome to the Minecraft ship project which I made for my Explorer report. I made this ship of Fernando de Soto and I'm doing this video in the perspective of a tour guide. So let's get on with the tour of the ship. Let's first see how they move around in the sea. Well, I don't think they had motors such as our cruise boat motors right now, but they did have the wind. So what they did was they had strong cotton sails which would use the wind to move the ship forward. They would have at least four sails to move the ship. Two big ones with the Spain flag and two small in between. And right now these sails are flat because th there is no wind blowing against it. But if there was supposed to be wind, the sail would have a dent in like this. Well now, let's see where the captain used his telescope and where he steered from. He had to look for icebergs and stones and boulders in between the ocean. So he would climb up the mast of the ship where he could see long distances. And if he were to spot anything that was dangerous, he could quickly just run down and go into the into the steering room where there was this where's the steer where the steering is. So this is the steering which I built. It's kind of big because it's Minecraft, but a real life steering would be more circular and have more spokes sticking out. Now let's see where all the crew members stay. Well, right now they have they have three buildings on top of the ship, including the steering room, and three of them are cabins. The three cabins on top mostly on, mostly have five beds, and each one has a chest next to it for high class and high class soldiers and high class crew members to store clothes and sleep. The three three cabins on top of the ship are for high class members. Now let's go to the low class low class members area. They were had to sleep under the ship. They would have to sleep under the ship. So this is how their area looked. It would be really large and would have a lot of people. And just like the lower class people, higher class people, they would have they would have chests. But these were for lower class crew members and soldiers. Now let's go look at the cargo unit of the ship. In the cargo unit, they'd have chests to store treasury. And it wouldn't be just be treasury, because Hernando de Soto didn't find any treasure anyway. But he did find useful plagues and resources, which weren't found in his country, Spain. So he took them back in these chests. And here I used red wool to represent tomatoes, yellow wool to represent bananas, and melons to, melons to represent watermelons, and yellow to represent carrots and they mostly all represent food now i'm going to go inside the other lower class room on the other side of the ship after the cargo and this one's a little larger than the other one to fit more people and all the exits and entrances from this lower class area it's if you're coming from if you're coming in it's on the floor and if you're going out it's on the roof because this area is under the ship. Mm. I hope you all liked my presentation about Hernando's ship, Hernando de Soto's ship. And I also hope you liked my explorer now. Well, thank you for listening.